a little real science today. It's the science teacher who I guess we always kind of wished we'd had when we were growing up. This is one of the neatest people I've ever talked to for real science. His name is Mark Wilburn. He's with Mesquite ISD. He describes his middle school classroom as part learning, part youth camp. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Wilburn. Oh, the lab is a safe place we do not taunt. We do not fear. We work together. We work together. We encourage each other. Everyone talks. Wow, you guys are like 100% today. 100%. Entering Mark Wilburn's eighth grade science class, advanced in middle school in Mesquite, is like a jolt of caffeine. It kind of feels like edutainment in here. It's kind of like entertainment mixed with education. That edutainment even includes a movie trailer to introduce the lesson. As these students learn about how the earth and sun are related, they are never still for very long as Mr. Wilburn is there every step of the way. What are you, why are you drawing on my tables? We were doing a lot. Okay, that's fine. Now this is something I'm pretty familiar with, a green screen. This is how we present the weather every day on CBS 11. But what is it doing here in a science classroom? This looks so easy. All you do is stand there and point, right? So show me how easy oh it is. God. Using visual media and letting these kids record their findings are ways Wilburn hopes to get them hooked. We want them hooked, we want them engaged, we want them going from this to this to this to this. We want them up, we want them moving, we want to be with the kinesthetic learners, we want to be with the auditory learners, the visual learners, we want to hit them all. I think it's just a lot more fun than doing like notes every single day. If science wasn't exciting before, it is now for these students. Because they were like boring stuff, like you gotta learn about this and this, and I just got bored. But then Mr. Wilburn came, I had fun. I want these kids to go in and say, hey, there's a career in math, there's a career in science, and I'm gonna pursue that. A great teacher there, and if you know a great teacher or a classroom that you would like to nominate for Real Science, head to our website, cbsdfw.com. Nobody sat still in that classroom for more yeah. than maybe a minute or two. It was yeah. great. And when you look back to your own history, your own education history, you always have that one teacher that kind of, for me, it was a Mr. Bennett's, and he was a broadcast sure. teacher, and just that one that always stands out, and they make the difference in lives. That's right. Jeff, and that's going to be one. Thanks. See you in a few minutes at 5.